In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you, honestly, probably my favorite play from the Gun Bunch in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And if you turn on those notifications, that's gonna let you know whenever we release new Madden 22 content. And our goal here at the channel is to release content and tips that help you become a better player on both sides of the ball. So I try to break down what the best of the best are doing, some of the concepts and tips and tricks that I know as well. So if you wanna subscribe, I would encourage you to do that. I also wanted to let you know, we're gonna be going over the play Flood out of the Gun Bunch. We're in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. And we're gonna be going over the play Flood. This play's a little bit different than last year, but it's still one of the best plays in the Gun Bunch, 100% hands down. Now, before we get into the breakdown, I wanna let you know that uh, I have uh, actually made a way for you to be able to get my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks completely for free. And the way that you do that is you sign up for my text message membership. So um, that way we're gonna release free Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides every single week in our text membership completely for free for you. All you have to do to sign up for it is to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Again, you want to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And we're going to get you those guides every single week throughout the course of the Madden 22 season. The beauty of this play flood is there's no adjustments necessary. Literally, all you're going to do is snap the ball. Your first read is going to be to the flat. In this year's game, if they don't have hard flats, the flat is wide open every single time. So if they have curl flats, it's wide open. If they have cloud flats, it's wide open. If they have uh, quarter flats, it's wide open every single time. Look at these cloud flats out here. You see the locomotion that you get on this, the, um, the ability of the computer to rack the ball is really, really good. Even on next gen, it's good. You see how he gets that separation right there? Now again, you know, every now and then you'll get stopped for like a gain of three. But there's a lot of times uh, when I run this play that you're gonna see this little route is gonna get separation for at least five yards and oftentimes more than that, okay? So that's your first read on this play. So you say, okay, well, what happens when they cover the heart with the hard flat? Let me just show you, this is a hard flat coverage. I wanna show you that you can um, still kind of throw it, but I wouldn't advise it. Obviously, if there's a fender in that grass area, don't throw the ball. So you're looking at that quick flat route. Your next read is gonna jump up, and if they're covering that flat, you're gonna hit your out route. Now what I like about that out route um, is especially if they're gonna be blitzing you, um, what you're gonna see here is that this R1, I can low ball that in front of it because that, that uh, tight end route has pulled the zone out of the way. So for example, if you get a look like this where they're gonna play some you know, maybe some clouds, and then they're also gonna play, you know, maybe some underneath zones, and you're gonna get a look like this right here. Um, this is really a good look for this play. And you're gonna see here, R1 goes, and I can just low ball right before he cuts. Now, the next thing that I wanna show you is what you do uh, if they're able to defend the hard flat and the seam flat. So uh, I'm gonna put leave those seam flats on the field. I just wanna show you how they work. You're gonna see here that the R1 receiver is gonna get over the top of those seam flats. They actually have to put very specific zone drops at about 15 to 20 yards to be able to cover that with a seam flat. They're not gonna be able to do that just with a base adjustment. The one thing about practice mode is they don't allow you to do the zone drops which is super annoying and unfortunate, but just the idea is a standard seam flat's not gonna cover that. So if they put a cloud flat out there, you're gonna see here that what you can actually do in this year's game is you can actually over, basically pass lead over the cloud um, for a really easy little you know couple yard gain uh, against this. So not only can you hit the, um, the flat against a hard flat, but the R1 route, you'll see here cloud, pass lead it up, and there he actually played me pretty well. And so if you see a defender in that grass area, then your next read, um, your next read simply put is going to be your backside route or a quick glance to your fade. So I look right, no, 
Now I'm going to look to my fade here. And what you're going to see is the fade this year, it used to be, it, it was a really good cover three meter last year. In this year's game, it's not as good against cover three. So just kind of want you to understand that real quick right off rip. You know, you're not going to get the same kind of cover three beater that you got last year. Um, I do want to show you what happens if you take the circle receiver and you put him on a vertical, uh, just so you can see the same concept. The vertical, um, you'll see, is the same exact thing. So in next gen, they've actually you know done a decent job at some of those cover three bombs that we had in current gen Madden. So from there, um, the next thing that I want to show you is really the way that I like to run the vertical. Um, it's, it's, it's just another way of running this play. It's really not a whole lot different. I'm just going to motion him to the outside just a step. And if you watch this fade, you're going to see that he's just going to pull. He's going to be a little bit better against cover two mainly. And he's going to be a little bit better against man. Okay. Um, the next thing that I want to show you, though, is let's say that everything breaks down. So let's say that they double flat you on both sides. So they have a cloud flat and a hard flat. That's double flatting. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to work to our next progression, which is going to be the dig and the in route combo. Um, this running back curl gets super underneath every yellow zone. I haven't found a yellow zone in the game that really will cover that necessarily. Um, most yellow zones aren't going to cover that zone. And so that's why I really like to have that play. Now, I do want you to know that if you start to notice that they're putting like white here, if they're, they're putting him on a, a vertical hook or something. If you have hot route master, this is my favorite adjustment to that adjustment. This is gonna force them to double flat on both sides field. I'm just gonna put the running back on a table route. And what you're gonna see is because they have a cloud flat out there, it's never ever gonna defend that route, ever. It will never ever defend the table route. So that gives you a really good read. It also gives you a really good read if they blitz you. So if you get pressure, you can easily throw the route to the table route or to the backside flat. And it really doesn't matter what they do, okay? Now, in the example that we were talking about just a second ago, let's say, for example, that they, you know, maybe do something like this where they have a curl flat to the right, where they're playing really hard, flat, aggressive coverage. Uh, I want you to watch this running back flat. Again, the table route, I can't stress it enough. You see, if they see the yellow zone, throw the table route, okay? that is going to get them that's going to force them to have to get away from that and this is where you're just going to get perfect spacing from this concept because now what you're going to get uh, with this is you're going to get this dig coming over the middle of the field and it's like a speed dig really effective route in my opinion really really good for beating man and really really good for beating zone so it's a great little cover three beater um against man the out route is money out route is absolute money against man um and then the in route is also a really good route against man those are really your two uh main reads you're going to see once he gets inside position just throw that in route one other little pro tip that you can do is you can actually use the playmaker on this curl to the back um, against man so i can playmaker the back to the left and you're going to see it's going to instantly beat me in coverage and as you can see now, I'm in the open field. I can make some jukes or whatever I need to do. So that's how that works against cover three and against man coverage. One thing I want to point out just real quick about this play is last year is um, you still have this opportunity to try to hit this over the top on match. I will say that it's not as good as it was. The safety on the match uh, or the bunch side does a little bit better of a job so really it's more of something like right there you're gonna have to lob and as you can see it's just not a great look this year so i wouldn't recommend running that against match um at least i wouldn't recommend trying to just bomb that route um there's other routes that are going to be open against match i want to show one more time and again you know if you got a good quarterback you might be able to get this over the top it is still kind of the same but I find more times than not that safety's in a pretty decent position to be able to intercept that ball. So I don't want to mess with that. Um, I'd rather just say, okay, you know, the match coverage, and then just take my out route. You see the out route's wide open against match coverage. You also have your backside check down. What makes this play so good is its simplicity. It's quick snap. You just come up and run the play. And if you make your progressions, you're going to have a really easy time at really beating any defense. That hook zone 
does a great job of not only the yellows have a hard time covering it, but that zone all, or that hook route really pulls a lot of those underneath yellow zones and it leaves open that uh, wide receiver dig. Okay, so that's the play Flood this year. It's a really, really good play out of the Seattle Seahawks bunch. I think Seattle has the best gun bunch combination of bunch and bunch tight end in the game. So if you want to learn more about uh, Seattle or if you want to get those offensive and defensive guides that I'm going to be releasing over the course of the Madden 22 season, I would encourage you to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, again, feel free to hit me up via text message or just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 so that we can get you guys some free offensive and defensive guides.